Like we're away. Good morning, everybody. At about uh, five o'clock this morning, police were called to this address at Parkholm, uh, where a 51-year-old uh, female was unresponsive. Unfortunately, that uh, female person has passed, and a 34-year-old male is assisting with police, uh, assisting police with their inquiries at present. I can't say much more. It's very early in the investigation, and when uh, matters become clearer, we uh, may be able to tell you a bit more. Uh, anyone with any information um, regarding this incident uh, early this morning, uh, I encourage to contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. Were they. Oh, sorry. Uh, um, yeah, I'll take uh, questions. Were they related, the 51 year old and 34 year old? It, as I said, it's early days, but from what we can ascertain, they are acquaintances, but uh, not in a uh, relationship. How were police made aware of this? Uh, through so, uh, through SAS, the AMBOs. Do you, are you aware of how an ambulance or why an ambulance were initially called here or who by? Because of an un unresponsive female, yep. Who made that call? To uh, look, I, once again, uh, too early in the investigation to confirm that, uh, but it was uh, people associated with this address. He's a 34-year-old male, is he known to police? Uh, I don't want to say anything in relation to uh, our knowledge or previous knowledge of uh, the male person assisting uh, police as it may prejudice any uh, subsequent uh, court matter, for instance, or investigation. In terms of um, the victim or the 34-year-old as well, um, are either of them residents of this property or are they both separate from it at all? Uh, the male person resides here. Was the female known to police at all, or had there been any red flags sort of um, before this? The female person is not known to police, no. Tell me through the police presence that you, that you have here today. So, um, uh, a usual night shift coverage from Sturt patrols have attended uh, part of the southern districts. Uh, I'm the on-call officer, so I get the call uh, from the duty officer, uh, and we're recalled. Um, <coughs> You've got members from the Southern District Criminal Investigation Branch. There's two members from Major Crime. Forensic Services have just arrived. And um, uh, additional resources from Southern Districts in relation to door knocks and things like that. And what, so what is the process from here for, um, and, and the focus here for detectives and uh, Major Crime? So Major Crime's involvement, and obviously with forensics, is uh, to determine what we've got at this scene. Uh, there'll be a post-mortem conducted on the female, uh, deceased female person, uh, to ascertain the cause of death. Does the victim appear to have any injuries? Uh, look, I, I can't comment on that. Um, it's early in the investigation. What causes uh, an unexplained death with the uh, police presence? What, what led you here? What, what was what the ambulance said that uh, sparked a police presence here? Um, an, an unusual situation. So you ask the question, it's an unusual situation. People just don't normally um, pass away without any sort of outside influence of some description. It's not clear, as I said, at this stage, how this person has um, passed on. Um, and that's why we're investigating. Is there any understanding as to why the person may have been here if, if the victim didn't reside here? Or what? No. Other than, other than they, as I said, they were acquaintances. Last ones, everybody. Can you talk us through the param you said paramedics tried to revive the woman? Do you know anything about how long they were here? And no, I can't. No, I'd, I'd be speculating on, on the time they were here. Uh, that Matt. That information will be prepared uh, for the coroner and for any subsequent investigation. Is it likely we could see some arrest, an arrest? Um, once again, I, it's it's too early to say that. Um, we're speaking with the male person at the moment. What would you say to anyone who has information as well outside of the male person that you're speaking with? Yep, anyone with any information, as I said, is, please come forward. Um, you can remain anonymous. Contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. All good, everybody? Yes, thank you. Yeah. All okay. right, thank you.